Once upon a time, in a land far away, where magic harps and giants live, there was a boy called Jack. He had been on many adventures and had great wealth. He lived with a maiden called Sleeping Beauty. Our tale begins in their cottage on the edge of the woods. Sleeping Beauty! What? Now I've got loads of money. Oh, you've got food on your face. Now I've got loads of money. I'm going to go to the market and see if I can buy Daisy the cow back. Oh, okay. Um, could you buy me a new pillow? Um, I'll think about it. No! Hey! <laughs> Ow! No, I'm not going to buy you a new pillow, but you've got to stay here and look after all the gold, the bags of money, the golden harp, and the chicken. Okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah! Are you really, really sure? Is Cinderella the queen? Um, yes. Get out of here. Well, then that's your answer. Go rat! <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you're sure then, bye. bye. I don't think you're very sure, but don't fall asleep. Yeah. And so Jack went off to the market. Meanwhile, Sleeping Beauty, for she could not stay awake for very long, took a short nap by the fire. Surely nothing bad could happen while she was sleeping. sleeping. Well, of course you were sleeping. Well, we've got to find out who took them. I know. Beep, 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 beep. Hello? Police, please. Wait, what? But you're the police. You're too hungry to bother coming to help. We could always go to Queen Cinderella. For once, that is an excellent idea. <sighs> Yeah. All right, come on. And so Jack and Sleeping Beauty run as fast as they could to the castle of Queen Cinderella, the kindest and happiest queen in all the land. giving up crime, but I'm bored. Would you rather be in jail or roam free? I suppose you're right. We could buy a car. Steal a car more like. We just gave up crime. We never actually shook on it. Evening Foxy, how's your day been? Oh, my day has been quite boring. We've just given up crime. We've just given up crime. But the wolf has a nice fur coat, which he doesn't need. Your jokes are awful, Goose. But he's right. The wolf might have stolen your things. OK, let's find the wolf. 
The mystery continued. The thief was still loose, but would the wolf have Jack and Beauty's loot? Dum dum dum, I love living alone in my cave. Uh, hello. Ah, I'm not wearing any clothes. Go away. You're a wolf, you don't wear clothes. True. So what do you want? You stole our stuff. I didn't. Every time something is stolen, people cry wolf. It's usually that little girl in red and that evil pig framing me. Who said it was me this time? The fox and goose. Just thinking about them makes me hungry. Then who did steal our things? I don't know, but if you don't get out of my cave soon, I will have to have my lunch. Your lunch? Either I eat you for lunch, or you help me find that little red riding hood and the evil pig so I can eat them at last. They are probably responsible for stealing your things. I don't want to be eaten. Come on with us, Mr Wolf. The wolf, Jack and Beauty went out through the woods. Now most woods have trees in them, but as this was a magical wood, they stumbled across two strangers sitting on the beach. <gasps> Are we there yet? Maybe we could move faster if we stayed awake longer. Wait, I can see something in the distance. Yes, I can smell something too. Sounds like a Russian lady to me. It's probably that little girl in red. She's always disguising herself, so I can't find her. Okay, let's get them. <laughs> I always liked smoking bacon. Why have you stolen our things? I'm just a little girl. I would never steal. I'm just sunbathing here before I go to visit my granny. How do you know it was a harp that was stolen? Oh, never mind. He's just imagining things because of all the sun in his eyes. Because you're so kind, we can help you find your things. I wouldn't cross these two if I were you. What is that noise? The sun has that effect on pigs. I can definitely hear something. The sound is in your imagination. Don't listen to that wolf. I can hear it too. It's coming from over there. Follow me. The beauty. Do you want to save your golden goose or not? Okay. I can hear it now. It's coming from under that rock. What? Where's the duck? It's, it's a, a trap! We did it! We actually did it! <laughs> now we have the magic art, golden duck and those golden coins. We're millionaires! <laughs> Missing? <laughs> You're such a greedy pig. Are there any left? <laughs> now let's start planning how we will get Queen Cinderella's other glass slipper. Meanwhile, the fox and goose, trying to avoid crime, had arrived at the beach. A beautiful girl was sleeping there. That looks like Sleeping Beauty. Oh yes, it is. Let's wake her up. Really? She looks so peaceful. <coughs> wake up! That cave looks like it's got a locked door outside. Should we go and explore? And so we reached the climax of our story. Little Red and Dennis the Pig had been cunning, but their greed would be their downfall. Look at those gold wrappers on the floor. I wonder where they lead. We followed a lot of trails like this in our crimal days. They usually lead us to something interesting. Let's follow them, Beauty. I can smell something over there. Yes, I can see something. Oh, look at that lovely pink pillow. <laughs> Take that, Cinderella. Whoa. Don't move or I'll throw my glass slipper at you. Take that. Let that be a lesson to you. Exactly what I've been looking for.
looking for. Sandy's get the sleeper! <laughs> You'll stay here forever. You will never again try and steal our jewels. Yes! Ugh. I think we've got them! You're a disgrace! No! And the unlikely friends went off to the palace, glad for their adventures, but all ready to have a peaceful night's sleep. Yay!